All right, the ladies and gentlemen, John Sweet Pea here. It is time for what is quite possibly, as far as I am aware, the most infamous level of One Monster Dot Wads. So let's get on with Cacophony. So, this is Cacophony. This is the single level that when Baron of Hell requested this wards, he wanted me to play. 439 Cacodemons. Sounds quite a lot, doesn't it? And it is. According to him, this is one of the most tedious levels he has ever played. Let's find out if that's true or not. The first thing I'm going to do is check these for secrets. And he's not the only one. Apparently this is the level that people think of when they think of one monster dot wards. So let's find out. So this is a Cacodemon. I don't think Cacodemons require too much of an introduction. In my opinion. They're Cacodemons. Oh my god, they're already floating in through the windows! Oh my god, and they're coming from all angles. Oof. Cacodemons best sort of method of attack, really. Ow. Really terribly already. Sounds like it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Somewhat. I have to go with this ammo up. Some health. So, oh, looks like some hellscape out there. I was expecting the Kakadims to come for the windows. It's four down and 435 to go. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. I think. We'll find out. An eight secret as well. So, Kakademons. Possibly the most iconic enemy in the whole of Doom. Arguably. So, wow. Should have bringing out the ambushes. Uh oh. Here we go, Ambush Central coming up. So yeah, Cacodemons, possibly considered one of the more, well, I don't know if the iconic enemy, but at least right up there. They're definitely used a lot, and I think reference to a lot also in pop culture as well, so I'd say they're right up there, perhaps with the Baron? Maybe? I don't know. You decided the most iconic enemy in there, I don't really know, to be honest. But, yeah, the Cacodemon, I... But you definitely, they're very distinct kind of enemy, aren't they, in a way, you know, the sort of red, floating face. Don't play too many games these days where you fight red, floating faces, to be honest. I mean, I don't think I've ever played another game where you fight floating faces, period, let alone a red, floating faces. Some people might call the Cackle Demon cute. I certainly think they have a sort of certain charm to them, even though they are vicious monstrosities. I mean, this... I certainly know that the Cacodemon is one of, has had over the years what is called as Doom Plushies. Many, many Doom Plushies. Number one. Good start. They've certainly had that certain various Doom Plushies over the years. Sort of a soft toy kind of thing. Because of their sort of adorable nature, but did you know that the, the Cacodemons are actually based off a uh, Dungeons and Dragon enemy called the Beholder. That's right, you're looking at Beholders pretty much. Um, if you've played my Boulders Gate Dark Alliance, if you've played Boulders Gate Dark Alliance or have watched my Let's Play of it, you know what I'm talking about. You remember Xanthan? Yeah, that was a Beholder. These are what Cacodemons are based off, and they're actually based off a, a sort of a artwork for Dungeon. I think something along those lines. I forget the specific sort of thing, but they're based off an artwork picture of a beholder in, um... I'll just take it with the heck. They're based off an artwork picture of a beholder, but they don't, but they're not quite as muscular. They're sort of like based off that, at least the, the, the face part of it anyway. Which is the entire thing, really. So they're based off that, really. I mean, sort of the horns and everything. No. It's kind of weird to see Cacodemus just wank being on the ground like this, to be honest. <laughs> this actually isn't too bad so far, but they're not easy to kill these little Cacodemons, are they? Well, they are and they aren't. At least not in packs, anyway. Oh my god, ooh, we got several in here. 
do. So I've actually had to think of a few things to say about it. I expect this all to be this all could very well last an hour. I'm not gonna lie. You could be in it, you could we could be here an hour. We will have to see. I mean the longest I've ever spent on a level so far in this half an hour. And that's not even close to like I mean Well was about, that was about two hundred enemies, so God knows what a uh, four hundred plus monster counting level is gonna be like. Should be uh, amusing to say the least. Nice looking sort of staircase earlier. Wow, lots and lots of ammo. I guess they were expecting. <laughs> what? Look at that, like 80 shells right there. They were definitely expecting a lot of carnage in this level. Yes. Uh oh, I think we may have just activated the super shotgun. As a lowered down. And again, I start to feel this, these levels are designed for pistol stars. I mean, why is the super shotgun the prize for that particularly? Maybe if I'd done these levels from a pistol start, they'd be a lot more difficult, eh? And someone actually pointed that out in a previous video, they sort of argued the case, maybe these levels would be a lot more difficult if you had to pistol start them. Oh my god, there's quite a few cacodemons coming in now. I'm oh, maybe not as many as I thought. It's not, definitely not sort of up to slaughter map style, but certainly... Oh, but it's still coming, okay. Maybe we are getting towards slaughter this is a slaughter one, it'd be about five different types of enemies. I'm not so sure you could make a slaughter map with just one enemy type, it would be a bit boring, to be honest. Not that I've played many slaughter maps. Right. So very carefully ration out <laughs> the ammo count. Always keep an eye on the ammo count when killing, when picking them up like that. Don't want them like to waste shells, because you never know when they might be useful. Got a berserk pack there. God. Seven minutes in, we've only killed 41. Oh man, this, I can already call this is going to be an hour long unless I start killing in mass, but. No, I, I'm saving my ammo for what I expect will probably be a very hectic final area. Blue skull bed. So, um. Aside from being the inspiration for the beholder, I guess, um. There's a couple of interesting things about the Kaka Demons. The one of only two enemies in the game that float in the air, of which they are very distinct from that. And the floatingness does give them a couple of advantages that most of the other enemies don't have. I mean, there is obviously the Pain Elemental as well, although that's more of a spawn than anything else. Oh god, more! Oh man, I feel this world's gonna be able to a lot of moments like this where we have to deal with. Wow, we've got kind of the Venus thing here. We have to. Oh no, this is not looking good suddenly. Oh, too bad. Maybe I should stop using just the super shotgun all the time, but. I refuse to put it down. And I said, I'd, I'd want to save the plasma gun the rockets for a bit later in the level, which I think is useful. But yeah, the, the floatiness does give them several sort of advantages, I suppose. One of them being that they can appear from an unexpected angle because they don't have to worry about stuff like, um... Well, they don't have to worry about ground limitations. They can just literally fly above the player, which definitely helps. There's a little switch system there, which you have to... Ah, uh, last thing, get out of this bit. Ooh. Ching a little bit here, actually. Oh boy. I'm not even a hundred in yet. Right, so. Oh, backtracking myself here a little bit. <laughs> Just making some supplies. But the us all around attack from unexpected angles. You've probably seen it in a couple of videos where I'm suddenly really surprised at where an enemy's shown up from. And that was because be of the caca demons, you know, the way they sort of sneak up on a player and whatnot. So, you know, they can like they can always come from windows. They can come from above. They can come from below. They can sort of hover around you a bit. So it's always a sort of thing to consider with caca demons is that they're not exactly the strongest monsters in the library. I mean, you can kill them with two super shotgun blasts if you're lucky. It takes about 30 to 40 chain gun shots. About maybe. 15, 20 plasma rounds. As you can see there, there, that's, there's an example. Check a demon came from above, so. If you 
you weren't expecting it, you know, with flying, so you have to always consider the Z axis with a cacodemon. Of course. Um I don't know exactly the strongest monster in the library, to be fair, but they don't take that much damage, you can kill them pretty easily. And another thing about Cacodemons is they have a very high pain chance, like I'll just demonstrate here. You can see that he flinches quite a lot, making them very easy to deal with. Um, another effective way of killing them, if you don't want to waste ammo, is to use the Chainsaw, which will take care of a Cacodemon very comfortably. There's a very low well chance that it will actually break out of the um, the flinch, for example, but it's about, I'd say it's about the same as, say, a pinky really, when Because pinkies still have a chance to break the pain barrier when they get chainsawed, and it's about the same with a cacodemon, really. I, in the past, I've sort of not really fought to chainsaw a cacodemon, but when I found out about the um, aforementioned pain, weakness, I certainly started using chainsaw a bit more to deal with them. So, they have a high pay chance, which means they're at least to sort of control somewhat. And they can easily be dealt with in groups, but I guess another thing about the floatiness of the, um... Another thing about the floatiness, though, is how annoying they can be to sort of deal with, I guess. In terms of that, I mean, you'll notice every time they get hit, they float backwards. Like, every time, you know. It's to a lesser effect with some weapons, but like, they tend to float back a little bit as um, you attack them. And super shotguns and anything like a rocket will really push them. Like, if I was to use a rocket right now on this one, I'm not going to die or not. I can actually evade the attack there, because of a way we're floating back. And in a way, it's kind of similar to how the Lost Souls can be kind of annoying for sort of floating backwards and stuff. Like, they'll just start suddenly... Is this gonna hurt? Can be sort of similar to how the Lost Souls sort of float backwards in that regard, you know, we sort of keep going until we hit an object and then they'll go back to the orientation. Like for example, if I fire a rocket here, it, it'll keep floating back. And depending on the 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 momentum of the shot, sometimes you can get them to fly quite a bit. So like if you sort of do it quick. Well, yes, we're trying again. And he died. Of course, typical. Two rockets usually kill a cacodemon, by the way, but. Again, mileage may vary. So, one of the things is that while dealing with them in packs with the rockets and stuff is also a good idea, it can be really annoying. Oh god, they're coming out of there. See, that one got some mileage there. Good momentum. God. They're really being quite sneaky with these Cacodemon now. This map, I've noticed. Some good enemy uh, teleport place. Oh god. Grief. Definitely a cat right? Ouch. So falling them back can be a pain because you'll fire a rocket into a pack of them and they'll suddenly just split out into all different directions. Maybe I can just show that off maybe. So like, you'll do that and then one will fly like 10 miles to the east. So it can be can make them a little bit annoying to deal with in packs because like if you use rockets, which is usually a good way to deal with multiples of them. If you just want to do a AoE damage. But they'll fly all over the place, which can make them very annoying. And you know, you'll, you might forget about one and then come back later and discover there's a, another Cacodemon that you forgot about and just blew out the level for a good few seconds. As you do. This one's going to be clean deal with. The, level, the atmosphere of the level is pretty good, by the way. Another sort of gory hell level. Nice. Keeping with the theme of one monster got one, continue to provide visually excellent levels. That still, that do run in theme with the monsters they use it from time, from time to time. Nice. Hmm. I'm only starting to feel that. Oh my god. We haven't even killed a hundred yet. Oh, oh, oh man, I am starting to feel the grind. All right. We feel the grind indeed. No doubt about that. <laughs> oh boy. If you're not feeling too much watching this, you might have to watch this in parts. <laughs> Come back in parts or whatever. So I'll try a few rockets. You can see there, there's one flying off. They don't always fly off like that. You know what would be really good to have right about now, though? A BFG. It'd be nice if this level was introduced. I hope this level introduced the BFG, because I've been going too long without it. And we're probably going to need it soon anyway, because 
as we as we draw towards the quolls and the different monster types, the boss monsters will come up eventually. We need a BFG to deal with them efficiently. Or is one monster going to hold out on giving us the BFG? That would be interesting to see, actually. If they actually gave, like, Cyber Demon and um, Spider Mastermind encounters, but no BFG. That could be interesting, I think. Ow, 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 oh my, why is with my Kerwis way today? I'm not normally in this bad. Oh my god, they're actually attacking from above. Out, 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 out. All defenses there, but as you can see, the Kaka Demons were literally on the ceiling. And again, that's the advantage. You, you think you clear the room, and that's where you always, you always got to check that above angle. Because we're dealing with flying Kaka Demons. We have mouse what we do nowadays, but I bet back in the day, it was a bit awkward to be hit. I don't know where the damage was actually coming from. I would, I would guess. I have to have a proper save here before I die. I don't want to really. I don't really want to have to redo large parts of this level. <laughs> Thing I'm pretty effective, keep one pin down. Again, main chance of better than really firing. Not just a cat out fire, but I do it for accuracy sake. So I thought it was a problem. I, mean, just, I, could eat, I would use the chainsaw on one, but due to the fact this is a level 4 of them. I mean, I'll show you here. The chainsaw, very effective. Pain chance ridiculously high, and down goes the Kakademon. Really easy stuff. But again, not something you want to do when there's more than one of them because you don't want to get caught like you wouldn't really do it against pinkies if they had angles. So much. And of course you have to get close to the Cacodemon as well. Which is something you don't always want to do because unlike like pinkies, you know, when you're doing that chainsaw thing, they can hurt you pretty badly. Another interesting thing about Cacodemons, which I kind of knew but didn't really sort of officially recognize, is that Cacodemons actually have two types of attack in the, um, oh God, you can see it, this one just out the window and tried to flank me. Okay. So they actually have two different, oh, well, they actually have two different attacks. The first, obviously, their main attack is their energy, which they spit on their mouths. It's going to be quite fast sometimes. I mean, sometimes you'll see them spit away. And then sometimes they'll take forever to do it. You know, standard sort of... Um... Cacodemon enemy attack. DPS rate varies. Whatever. You want to call it. Um... But they actually have a melee attack. Which, they only use a point blank range. It's kind of like a bite, I guess. But there's no official sound for it. It's not like you hear a scratching sound like the imp their melee attack. But they do have a melee attack. I think it's essentially just the same as the fireball one, but it's a little different. I don't know the technical damage difference. If it does any extra damage or whatever. But they do have a bite. So if you if you're ever attacking one at close range, keep that in mind I guess. See I'm just flying I'm just like I'm actually running out of ammo. Believe that I'm actually trying to see that it's running out of ammo. So yeah, they have a fire attack. Didn't know that, really. I always thought it was just a fireball at close range. That was about it. But, um, nope, fire attack. Oh my goodness, please. Hell prison! Don't ever find yourself here if you can help it. back here as he's cracking his float into position. So yeah, two rockets usually go three, maybe to be on the safe side, depends on the RNG that you get, of course. The projectile's also quite slow, so they're not that hard to evade, but again, it's the angle thing that's going to get you. So what's a plasma ammo, mind you? We may have to consider using that. Don't want to pick up the health. I'm trying to be sort of concerned because I, I fear we're in for the long haul, so I want to... I, I feel I want to conserve as much resources as possible. Hmm. 
Oh, oh, trying to pull back. Oh boy, oh boy. This is where things are going to pick up, I think. Oh my goodness, they're coming from everywhere. Oh god. Might be time for some plasma, I think. Yeah, definitely time for that plasma. Oh my god, oh my. Need to get past these guys quick. Watch both sides. Not be having that. Oh! Another one. Oh god. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad. Ah, I can't get out. Oh, it's not one. Back. Quick! Ooh. Oh! Oh! I, oh, I found an entrance into that then. Jesus, that was close! Five health! Fucking hell! This level picked up a, quite a bit, son of That was a, brutal! So we got demons everywhere and no, no BFG to deal with them. Oh well. This is, what, this is what I mean about keeping those supplies. Turns out I needed them. Crumbs! That was, that was, a, that was almost like my. Death got wookie. Very wookie indeed. So not only is this level tedious ish, but it's also really difficult as it ish at times with the sheer number of them and oh, at least well, at least we managed to escape. Thank Too tedious though. That was very like shit shit shit, what do I do? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Shoot me for the bloody door on that. Ugh. I know I got a berserk pack somewhere around, but um I don't want to get flanked by them as I go through the morning school door, so I'm out of equation. Pack of demons are also quite common in mean the you know, they're a good mix in the they're a good thing, annoying pesky unit type in the midst of larger battles because of the fact they can fly around, so they don't have you don't have the limitations of how oh, that was good. So they don't have the um you don't have to worry about like um being on the ground, which makes them a bit annoying in large group situations because you've always got the um I, I'm pretty sure I went in there didn't I by accident, but how is the one there now? I could have sworn I might have actually bumped into that. Hmm. Or maybe I'm wrong. I'm seeing things. Well, in any event. Um, oh, I didn't want to pick up the armor there. Oh, whatever. You just need it. You could be the one that lives. The cacodemon that lives. That could be you. Guess what to save after that hurry encounter. 23 minutes. We're not even halfway through the monster. Yep, but this is going to be a long one. But I did one. I knew it was going to be a long one. It's not like this is going to be a surprise or anything. To be fair. Hope you're enjoying yourselves, Alex the Average Kid, who is looking forward to this video in a sadistic manner. Maybe Baron of Hell will finally be fit to comment on this series. I hope you've been, I hope you've been watching these series, Baron of Hell. You know, I know you're a busy man and all, but... I hope you're enjoying my uh, playthrough of this request of yours. Nice to hear a comment from your sud self. Especially on this, since I'm doing the infamous level that you described various times when I sort of ping the PM back to each other when we we're way back. What have we got here? Ten that one out. Maybe if we had a roof, perhaps. Man. The sad thing is, this is not even the level I'm feeling the worst. You know, there were two levels I wasn't looking forward to in this one. This one, because of the infamous factor of how apparently tedious it was. The other one, I would laugh if it came up uh, next. You know, I won't be surprised if it's the next level, actually. The one with the revenue. I'm not looking forward to that level. Because I don't like revenants and I can't stand the idea of having to do an entire level where I fight nothing but revenants. Not something I look forward to in any hurry. Alright, well, at least we're down to the last few keys. So I can only assume after we find this last key or whatever, we're probably going to be 
head into some kind of, oh god, a giant cacodemon, I mean, can you imagine that? I certainly can. Don't don't help. Still, it may not be too bad, it depends how big it is, but I'm thinking they're probably going to save a big, many, many wrong cacodemon that will come. Oh, this looks a bit... Oh my god! Is that the BFG? It is! But it's guarded and the door is shut again. Damn it, they seem to like walking the player in these small rooms at this level. Huh. Certainly making the player sweat a little bit. This is quite possibly the most difficult level I've played so far due to that. Despite the eagerness of the enemy. It's just a sheer numbers thing, as I said. Pick a demon's not really the. Gonna have to trigger him out. I don't. I don't even want to pick up the BFG yet because I have a feeling that will trigger even more packages to show up. I'm gonna kill the one first. There's no way they're gonna let me have the BFG this easily. It could be another trick for all we know, and that's like a death trap. Like you know, the last time I saw one of these, and then I wanted. Oh, where's the BFG? And then it's gonna we die. Ah, at last. No catch this time. This is the real deal. The BFG is mine! That means these cacodemons are going down. Have I enough of you cacodemons? I know this really BFG is very effective against them, but I'm not gonna waste it on just two. Again, I think we will be spurring the ammo. A little later. I think we're going to need this. Probably in the previously mentioned giant ambush type area. Library here, so we need the demon library. I wonder if cacodemons can read. Or write. Anything other than one. Just let me wonder. There we go. Um. So there are a couple of projects that hopefully are coming out soon. I've, I have mentioned these before, but they are getting closer to release. Uh, Nova the Birth, which is the one that's for the bunch of newcomers to the scene. Um, I think that's just waiting an id games release now, which id games basically is the portal for putting Doom Wads up. And id games released is basically considered the final sort of version prior to a... <coughs> Know, any more bug fixing after that point, so that's apparently very close to completion. Hopefully, that will be up in the next couple of days, and I can finally start playing it. That will be, I think, a live stream project on my Twitch channel. So, look forward to that hopefully quite soon ish. Uh, another one that's coming out shortly. Oh, God, I just got the as well. Um, Very situation I was hoping to avoid a lot of were being flanked on multiple sides by the tactics. Oh, goodness me, there's more of them! Okay, BFG time is now! Die, Kaka Demon! Get out of my way! You're not gonna pin me into a corner all day! You are not! No, 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 no! Still another one on the bloody window. Ugh. Looks like the BFG there. Unfortunately, it was the best thing I could have done. Why the player would have panicked with the plasma gun. Go, go down. Wow. Give me that shotgun ammo. God. That was a, another close call right there. But thankfully, we have the most powerful weapon in the game now. So that definitely helps. That actually unlock. Well, ah, that. And finally, we can get out of there. I'm out the woods yet. Right, we're still not halfway yet, and we're half an hour to the half hour mark. I'm keeping out on the time. I really do want to see how long I'm spending on this. <laughs> Don't normally obsess about the time, but this is an infamous level. The timely attention. Ooh, I like that custom thing. Yeah, I don't know. 
But yeah, other Doom projects are coming out. Um, the Doom World Mega Community Project 2013. Um, I think that's all but done, to be honest, as far as I can tell. Um, I think they're just sort of finalizing that one. I think it's going to be three different uh, wads. Oh my god! Might be one of the arenas. I want to use. I want to try and not use the BFP here if I can. I'm gonna try and drop it instead. This might not prove to be a good idea, but we'll see. hopefully, with no surprise, I can even come this way. We should be okay. Not going to the windows. But yeah, that's coming out. That's going to be three different wads, basically. That's going to be like. I think it's based on compatibility settings and stuff. So. That was not a smart idea. Why did I do that? God, it's really badly today. Things I've done as soon as I've come off work. I should have waited a couple of minutes, settle down a bit. But ah, uh, good thing I have a ton of health. At least, the, at least the power ups and items are, are pretty set here. Okay. Away with you. So yeah, it's gonna be three different ones. I think there's one based off sort of vanilla settings, one that's based off something called Boom, which is a different sort of Doom engine kind of thing. I don't actually know much about Boom. It's just, it's basically a sort of interesting Doom engine. Why this is a GZ Doom engine? I think it's. it's I'm I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm I'm gonna why I don't know anything about the Boom engine and why people make. But, I know, but what I do know is that people do make um, boom specific wads and stuff like that. So it is a thing. Uh, people do white making specific wads for it. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is, but there's another one for that. And I think the third one is like Jay Z Doom stuff. Uh, oh my god, all these cacker demons. I'm getting flashbacks to back to Saturn X this shit. This is having BFG time. I'll say, oh, this is it. This is the big massive arena fight that I've been hyping up the whole time. It's here. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. This is almost, now this is like a slaughter war. There's many. Oh my god, my BFG is almost out of ammo too. And I need some health. Health. An exit. Please. Exit. Exit. I need out of this level. God, run! Run! I don't care if that missed. I need health. Oh my god. Another close call. I'm... Gee, that's the third one this level. Man. I now thought this was supposed to be boring. <laughs> this is proven to be the most dramatic level yet, actually. A bit tedious at the beginning, but it sure doesn't waste any time after that. <laughs> For sure. Oh my god. It's a good thing I found that switch, actually. That was a bit of a lucky break. Find the switch to escape. Seems to be a theme as well. Walk the player in. Unleash the gates of hell. And um, despite that, this is still not the final flourish. I just noticed in terms of the monster gal. But we're not done yet either. There's still one more trick up this level sleeve. We have yet to unravel. Alright, I think we're done here, but also let's get rid of the boat. I have to be advised, my statement corner is a boring level. <laughs> Not to be the case. So yeah, there's going to be three different parts to that Doom World Mega Project what? and that's hopefully coming out soon. I think Time of Death we made a level for it. It was Doom Speedrunner. So forth um, is just finalizing that. So hopefully that will also be coming out soon, and I think that will also be a live stream project. And then the switcher room, which um, apparently switcher room uh, death egg appears to have gone off the radar a little bit. So there's actually a thread up in um, Doom World right now where Jaws in Space, one of the mappers for the ward, and you remember Jaws in Space from the Monocle Mapping Project with his six contributions is asking the people to bug test Switch Room. So, if you see that thread up on Doom World, uh, 
feel free to give him a hand. Um, and bug test. I think he said he's okay with the first two episodes, but the next two episodes need a bit of uh, tweaking. So, other than that, I think Switch Room is also close to completion. They all are, really. I'm just waiting for one of them to finish. Really, before I commit. And that, I think, will be the wet, next wet point. I've probably said in the past, so that'll be the next let's play I do on the channel. Do mine anyway. I wonder if like a significant delay or something on Switch Room, in which case I might do something else, but I still got a few over this one. Map 19 is about five left to go. If I remember correctly. Yep, finish it to 24. So that's hopefully by the time I finish this, Switch Room will be available. Start playing that, which I'm looking forward to. The so basically, I'm just waiting on a whole bunch of new projects. Real fun time for me. Not being able to play any of them. And aside from that, this year I've also made a resolution to tackle three wads, um, classic ones, which I think will all be live streamed, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, those being TNT Evolution. E evolution, sorry, I should say. Evolution, evolution. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up. Got a dark, nasty area looking over there, but. Wow, how has level been so far? Been all over the place. This is a very well designed level, I have to say. Real quick. Oh, no. I was expecting something like that. A lot worse than this, granted, but. Can you see there the Titan just floating miles away? It can be annoying to deal with them. Do the back. But that was it though. Um, so I'm hoping to play uh, Evolution. That's supposed to be the easy one. Oh, I see. Let's pull back for a second. Um, the other two I want to tackle this year is one of them is the the Plutonia experiment, which King Dime uh, ran at AGDQ, and I did stay up to watch that. <coughs> I did donate twice, forty dollars in total. Once after, once before the stream, and once one well, one time after. So I finally got to see what King Dime looks like. Um, and then, and then the announcer at AGDQ sort of slightly mispronounced my name, but he sort of said like John Suit P. You know, like suit or something. Well, I'm not really which I thought was a little chucky, you know, like my name is sort of my username I should say. I'm not actually called John Sweetie, by the way. His name almost one maybe. Very be careful not to get flanked. To some kind of area where you maybe. There you are. Can I drive my chainsaw of death? It would always be interesting. I mean, it, it's. I don't think there's actually an official way of saying it, by the way. I don't think there's like, oh, you have to say it this way. I always call it like sweet pea, as in the sweet and then pea. But some people pronounce it like suit pea, as in like a suit sort of thing. I don't know the official way of saying sweet pea. I find it interesting that he said he's well. The announcer, the the guy who was ringing off the donation, said suit he. Sort of pronounced sort of like a suit, like not like S U I T, like S double O T. So if I'm kind of aware, <laughs> because I've never heard my username pronounced that way before. You know, suit he. But yeah, Dime did his Plutonio experiment run, and that's a more harder, more infamously difficult word. Which I want to tackle. Are you? What are you doing? Come here. Oh, this is bad. Uh, oh, 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 not good. Talk about not wanting to get flanked, and I get flanked. We I had one of them. Ow! And that's the horrible thing about trying to change sort of Cacodemon. If you're going up to them, you can one miss time and it'll spit in your face. It makes it a bit more risky to chainsaw than say a pink one. Other than that, your pain chance is good though. You Fine to do it. Okay, I'm gonna it now. <laughs> Since I'm in the uncharted half of the 
Pyramid of sorts. Um, another thing about Cacodemons which is interesting is their actual death. You'll notice that Cacodemon corpses are actually quite large. You probably notice they're actually quite big in terms of their size. I mean, I mean there's Cacodemon and you can see there it's quite a sizable corpse. The old Cacodemon. Oh no, 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 no. Time to leave. I'm not having teleporting Cacodemons. Nope. I was up off and the door to be closed again. Nice try. I kill them because I didn't. But you did a nice run, did uh, Diamond, at the top of the experiment. That is a lot of times, but it's supposed to be one of the most endlessly difficult wads ever. But you pulled it off. And he did a uh, Doom race with, I think, someone called Cooper Wagon. So, I didn't, I didn't catch that because I, I did have to go to sleep at that point, but that was pretty fun too, I suppose. And the Plutonium Experiment is an infamously very super difficult kind of, um, boot mod. Also released around the same time as TNT Evolution, and a lot of people loved it so much that they made, um, two follow-ups. Um, PC Plutonium X2 and Plutonium Revisited. Which was supposed to be pretty good. It's supposed to be a style of difficulty known as the Plutonia style difficulty. I think I encountered it during Stalker, during my copy break run. Which is what some people describe uh, Stalker as being similar to. And I fucking hate Stalker, the was a revenant of you. So I'd be kind of curious to see what um, the Plutonia experiment is like. I don't think it has levels that are packed with revenant. According to what I've seen, I've seen footage here and there. Alright. Quite sure that should be good. Hey, we're up to 306. Alright. Oh, I never actually pressed that. That's nothing important. Anyway, back up we go. So that's the second one I want to cover this year, um, and the third one is another infamously hard classic called Alien Vendetta, which I do remember very fondly for its music during one particular level, the Castle Gardens. And I played a little bit of that back in the Zay Demon days a couple years ago, so I'm sort of familiar with that one, and I'm sort of semi-familiar with the Plutonia Experiment as well. I'm trying to play them as well, so I'm going to play them solo. Supposedly the very difficult level. So my challenge is to try and play and complete those three wards. And you should be seeing them on live stream at some point. But probably not immediately because I am still waiting for Nova the Birth and the Mega Project to come out. Hopefully so soon. Two for one special there. Ah, that's what does. I wonder if there's going to be one more exciting moment in this uh, level before we close down. Still time! We'll throw another hundred Cacodemon or so at us. Before we end. Can we get to an hour? Or will it be likely less? I mean, if I make... Even if it's not an hour, it's probably going to be an hour anyway because <laughs> of all the pauses and the intro and whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. They're coming now. I think this might be one of the moments. Oh God, I can see them all floating off already. Be careful here. Need to be very careful here. Oh my God. Whoa. That's a lot of cacodemon. Oh, he's not trying to fight from above. Behind me. I've got a bit of leeway this time. I can sort of take around the corner as such. Well yeah, um, sorry I sort of mentioned that. I forgot that I was talking about Kakadim of course. Uh, yeah. subject, but the rather, the rather large the Kakadim is the death corpses and um, in fact they're so large that some some um, doom wards have as alteration to the Kakadim. You can see here they kind of they do block the screen a little bit so 
Well, rocket. There's actually a, a one, and a lot of Doom ones actually use this. I think a lot of multiplayer ones do especially, where they basically condense the Cacodemon corpse down to, like, a sort of a red, sort of very thin um, corpse. Ow, that was a bit of a back You know, it's only like this massive sort of hulking thing that just blocked the way. It can be annoying on some level because they can be in it and just, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 oh, shit. Get away, you are not wanking me. Get out of it. Oh. Back up a bit. Get some help. Well, they made it so that they're basically they just get rid of this big massive corpse thing with the gut spewing out and whatever and just um, have a, a nice little red case, which is a lot. It's just convenient to die. You know, I can understand why they do I mean, right now you can see it's walking away a bit, so most of some people well, these Cacodemon corpses are too big. And you can see there again, because of the position of it on the elevated plane, I can't see if I get too close. So you can see there why it's annoying at times, how big these corpses are. It's not normally something that bothers me though. Mostly because I don't normally play levels with 80 billion Cacodemons on it, so that's probably why. Alright, so dealt with that. That. Wow, we actually are running well on ammo. That's a plasma gun. And I refuse to use that. I may have to save a few more PSG ones. I'm actually wondering if I'm going to be out of ammo by the end of the level. Alright, another save. Getting close to the end now, I think. I would suspect. Ooh, that's a good one. Set of corpses that way. Oh, up there. Uh -huh. You're so smart being up there, do you? We are not. Wow. Did all those rockets miss us? Oh, whoops. I don't think I wanted to do that necessarily. <laughs> I was looking for the chicken. Hope there's a bit of a resupply near the end. Wow, what these are. Quite distant. God. What the theme of this world? This part particularly looks really nice. Very sort of hellish. Hell pillars and all that. Looks nice. Definitely a lot of nice, cute visual details on this level. So, what you have to say, it's not been as boring as I thought, actually. There have not been some genuinely good moments in this level. But don't get me wrong, a lot of it has been kind of a drag. But it's not been as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot worse, actually. There seems to be just enough there to keep things interesting. But I'm actually having to use rockets here. So, oh no. And I could go back and do a quick ammo burn. I might have to do that in a minute. Down to use the rockets now, just to kill a basic Hopefully there'll be a nice little V supply near the end. Because they can still throw Man, the last thing, but there's, they're going to be below 100 now. They do. And run out of cacodemons! Please! Ah! Oh god, there's more to come as well. There we go. Get out! Come on! Scoot! Oh, good. A bit of shotgun ammo. Hopefully, I'm not going to start having to chainsaw them, or this could be get very tedious. Oh, man. Why can't you. Damn it, die in one shot. Yeah. Or two shots. Ammo, a bit of a problem now. Hopefully, I'm really hoping for some. Okay, next. So, oh, wow, we are getting a bit of supply here. Hmm, something tells me this is not the end. Though, so, I must have given us a bit of stuff before the final push. Wow, what is your one secret in this level? I'm pretty poor on the secret front today. Hmm, is this really going to be the end? It's like a whole bunch left, apparently. Ah, I didn't think so. 
some last little area to come. Just walked inviting, but actually wasn't. Just checking there's nothing behind me. The whole map's been full of these little ambush moments. Being precautious. At least Draken will be happy with this recording. My f my good uh, internet friend and moderator of the Twitch chat, Draken loves cacodemons. Cheers, been looking forward to this part with much gusto. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how to step into that arena because I bet the. will block me out. Ow. Alright, this is the final area. Final showdown with the red thing. Out on top pretty comfortably here, actually. I think. Too many more problems with these guys. I suspect that we must teleport trap to get to the end. There, and down. Not least the fact they're all in cages, so that's going to make things a bit complicated. Time to pop a save and go have a look. Oh my god, I've got a beautiful game. Oh boy, that was a stupid idea. Oh god, and now they are falling out. Oof. Don't want any part of that. No thank. Oh my god, why did I do that? I was all tender to kill myself just to be to do that. For better of it. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought they'd walk out the uh, this area, then you just retreat back here and take them out one by one. Oh, so a slightly damp squid to end the level. Ish. That makes a big thing. Cages still to be dealt with. Deal with these. No armor either, that could be bad. So that, that's what we're up with set up here. I might be one about putting a bit of a damn squib in the end. Oh! Okay, we're good, we're good. I thought it'd be interesting. I one way to get to death. No, again! No, 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 no! Oh, good. Wait, you go down. Falling twice in the pit. Ah, come on, come on. On. I want to try and get through this without dying if I can. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, I think I've actually quit an angle out now. Just a little. I think. Yeah, I think I've started to quit out just enough now. Like, stop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ow. There. Alright. There we go. Oh! Where'd that one come from? Over here, huh? Jeez. Stop hitting the edge! Wow. The water splash. Ah, oh, it teleports back in. That's why they keep coming in and keep this morning. Ugh. I want this area clear. There. Good. Yes. Right. Now I think it might be okay. Alright. They've got four close encounters on this map so far. I'm not done yet either. Oh no! Fresh reinforcements come in! 
Oh, they keep coming in each incarnation. Oh, fuck this. I don't think we can afford to kill them all. They want out of ammo. Everything. Too many of them. Too many cacodemons. Too many. Alright. Oh, my fucking god. No, you know, no, we, we can't kill them all anymore. We can't afford to do it because there's just too many. I don't have the ammo for it. So we're just going to have to just clear the level out as quickly as we can. At least not with this ammo supply. We're going to need a lot more stuff than this. We're going to deal with all of them. A lot more. Maybe we should take a step back and see if we can't find... A cut spear would have been nice about now, but I don't know where to begin looking. So, unfortunately, a side detour as I desperately search for ammo. Can't as well as I want to give all. Just... Look at the ammo count. I'm so low. I've never had an ammo. Here I am saying the entirety of one month of that word is. <laughs> never giving me an ammo shortage and now this. So I'm just going to desperately try and find some. I think there's a few supplies that I've left. So that, I'm just going to have to bait them all out and just do the best I can. I could some ammo here in this bit. I can pick up, hopefully. And I can clear out the rest of them comfortably. Shouldn't take too long. It's not like this level's hard to navigate or anything. Not at all. But it's a bit more at the very beginning where I didn't have the ammo problem. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, it's, yeah. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Hmm, is that a secret there that's being exposed? Oh, just a shortcut. Gee, thanks. Thanks for the hits. Alright, I guess that will do. Hmm. Alright, I guess that'll do. I don't want to spend too long being too boring on this recording, so... I'll just head over here. No, not that way. Ooh. Oh! What? Oh, oh, okay. There's a bit more BFG ammo than I thought. Alright. Let's go deal with this one. Should have enough now to deal with this one, hopefully. There's only like 20 something left. Not too many more. And then when the last spawn comes in, we can just clean them out and finish them off. So this map had like four close encounters. We barely won from that. It's been quite a intense level. We actually managed to use the Cacodemons in a sort of uh, very tactful way, I have to say. Very good use of the monster here. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trigger the exit thing, because these monsters are going to... Some of them are always spawning in the cages as well, which kind of sucks. Well, not too much, to be fair. Only like a couple of these times. So not too bad, as I thought. I thought it would all be responding in the cages. we very cautious away, because we are running out on supply. And I'm being interrupted. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I actually thought I'd be able to get through this without being interrupted whatsoever. No such luck. The postman says, I must deliver. I don't care if you're fighting cacodemons. Alright, how many have left? 19. And there's a few in the cages. Right, scoot. I mean, I could just jump over that, to be honest, but I'm not going to do that. Alright. I'm not going to jump the sheets, this is not good enough design for it. Yeah, I see you there, Mr. Kekadine. You're not going to kill me. Go down. Go back. Pull back. Very, very cautiously. If there's anything out there. Hmm. Let's give him a bit of time to group up and then we'll go into the kill. Alright. So the last 15 cacodemons. 
An hour on the clock, so this is over an hour video. If you've made it this far in one sitting, no less, then I congratulate you. This is not the longest video I've done on this channel in a Doom. I mean, there was that one level in the Monocrop Mapping Project, the Ultramarine Kingdom, that took a while too. Well, this is the longest one where there's not been a variety of monsters. And in fairness, the Ultramarine Kingdom was... Yes, I don't know what to say. Alright. Wow, so by the end of the next level, unless there's some ammo in that last room, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be mainly doing plasma. So the next level isn't that what I thought it was going to be in the game. Not sure if that's any better, but we'll sign out. Right. Sleep. So you can see him in the cage is dying to get the wakes in. No. Okay, five left. Well. There's, there's the immortal cacodemon that will not die. Like it. But a bit risky. Oops, nope, didn't mean to bring the console there. I wonder if I can grab it in the cave. There we go. Got ya. Change also finds when we had a bit of reach. I'd be surprised. The reach of the chainsaw. Okay. There we go. Alright. And that just leaves the immortal cackle demon to pay homage to the fact that the entire race was wiped out by me. Uh, got our little thing at the end. Alright! Finally! <laughs> what? What's with this? What's with the sucks? <laughs> I have not seen that before. Is that like because of the time or... I'm not sure. Time. Something sucks. <laughs> so that was Cacophony by Ikure. 99% kills, only one Cacodemon was spared. Hit himself in a secret, I guess. 9% of the items, only one out of eight secrets. And over an hour, just over an hour to finish. Part time 3.30, I don't think so. Maybe if you're really good at speedrunning, you probably could do that quite quickly, but that last day will probably kick your ass a few times. Sucks. <laughs> if you get on, I'm not so sure what that's for. Is that because I did it in over an hour, or what? I've not seen that message before. So interesting, it was put in. So cacophony. Um, I'd have to say that it wasn't as tedious as I thought. It certainly started out kind of boring, but then it picked up with several really dangerous ambushes, which made good use of the. Cacodemons. I finally thought that was a better level than Ban of Hell and maybe a few others have made it out. It's not that bad. It certainly is tedious at times, so I'm not going to lie. Killing over 400 enemies over an hour. Oof. But it did just enough to be interesting where I just kind of kept going. Just about. Certainly helps to have three or four situations of near death. It's just a shame I didn't manage to complete the level without dying once. I would have liked to have done that, but not to be. So overall, the infamous Cacophony is alright. I'll say, it was an okay level. Nice visual design as always. Good use of the enemies and some clever ambushes, I'd say. But I can understand why people consider it infamously tedious. Definitely a very standy-out kind of level as well, I'd say. Anyway, aside from the fact that my time sucks, let's see what's up for next time, shall we? No! Not this level! Not now! God fucking damn it! Bony encounter! And that means one thing 95 revenants! Oh, 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 oh. I just can't catch a break, can I? I kill 400 plus Cacodemons, and next time it's gonna be Revenants. Oh my god. The two infamous levels I was described when I took this request back to back. So, what did you all think of Cacophony? Did you think it was a good level? 
Did you think that Ikka used the Kaka Demons well? Or are there any improvements you would have suggested? Was it as tedious as I made it out to be? As others have made it out to be? Or did you think it was actually quite fun? And what do you think is going to happen next time as I confront 95 of my worst enemy in Doom in the Boney Encounter? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'm off to have a well-earned break. I don't want to see a cacodemon for some time. See you next time, Doomers.